Good morning, traders. So we head into the APAC session with a, a softer euro in Wednesday's US session. Uh, euro US failing to hold above that psychological 110 level. Uh, cooler than expected inflation readings out of both Spain and Germany weighing on the single currency. Uh, euro pound also dropped for the fifth straight session and it set a new November low. Comments from ECB member Stanaras uh, pushing back on the April rate cut bets, uh, failing to really support the euro too much. Japanese yen was firmer against the US dollar. Um, dollar yen still seeming to play catch up with that uh, US Japan uh, rate differential there. US yields are again lower across the curve, putting um, downward pressure on the dollar yen. The yen did give up some of its gains, though, after some dovish comments from the Bank of Japan's Adachi uh, regarding the bank's easy money policies. Uh, after a real recent tear up, the Aussie dollar was uh, the G10 underperformer, while Across the ditch, New Zealand dollar was uh, one of the outperformers. So dollar, New Zealand dollar, US dollar spiked higher following a, a hawkish hold from the RBNZ where the central bank left rates on hold as expected, but raised both its OCR and CPI forecasts so, and then left the door wide open for future hikes if needed. Um, Aussie Kiwi tumbling through that um, mid, uh, the midpoint support of the 2023 range at about 107.73 and did set new November lows as well. Uh, gold rallied for the fifth straight session um, despite a bounce in the US dollar, which is good news for the gold bulls. Uh, XAU USD poked its head above that 2050 US dollar an ounce, um, entered that resistance zone that we saw set back in April and May, um, did pair some of its gains once it hit that zone. Uh, so that 2047 to 2067 uh, zone is looking key to uh, test that what, we've, what has been a rampant bull run for the last two weeks in gold.